the hub section is complete for the 340 millimeter EDF. Obviously, this is going to be stationary, kind of like the other casing was here. And you can kind of see it here, the way it was designed. The other design is a little bit different than this one, as it has some recesses here for the bolts. And now I'm printing this outer part right here. That's going to go into these slots here. And then we'll start printing the upper fan casing, which is this black part here. That's all going to be in clear PETG as well, because like I said, the entire drone is going to be PETG. So this thrust bearing assembly is going to work out perfectly. It's going to give me some really good friction. It's also not really good friction. <laughs> really good lack of friction. But the mating is going to be really, really nice. It's going to keep the fan vertical. It's going to keep it stable. We also have that front main bearing that's going to go into the hub. That's going to keep it stable. I know everyone's like, that's a lot of weight for this. But with the thrust that it puts out at 9,800 RPMs or so, is immense so it's it's uh it doesn't matter <laughs> now future iterations i may get rid of the central bearing altogether and just go with two thrust bearings that are embedded into the hub but i wanted to try this because i wanted to make sure that vertical stabilization was good now i know that vertical stabilization would probably be fine with this but when you're pushing this fan into the hub it's kind of hard to get anything threaded down on here because you don't want to have, you don't want to use a threaded material to, to like thread a keeper on, in other words, um, because of the way the layer lines are. But again, that also might not be an issue because of the epoxy that goes through the main internal shaft, which lines everything up, which is this hexagonal shaft here. So that being said, some design changes may be made in the future iterations, but for the flight worthiness test, which is what we're going for, which is a vertical hover and some maneuvering, this is gonna be fine. And then I'll get rid of those center bearings and go with two thrust bearings that are embedded without making that internal shaft too small. So that's what we don't want. We don't want this too thin. So that's one of the reasons why we did it this way. So that being said, again, be looking for it. This fan's coming along nice. Once this casing's done, we are going to put this thing on the test stand, which is a bucket, and then we are going to test it. And it's going to, it's just going to spin. It's going to spin up nice and smooth and sweet, and it's just going to be beautiful. We'll be testing at 48 volts until the 18S pack gets here.